Hello there. Super Typhoon U2 made landfall on Thursday in the Pacific across the islands of Mariana, which are just to the north of Guam. It was a significant typhoon. In fact, the most devastating to cross those islands with sustained winds around the center of the eye of 180 miles an hour. It really has caused significant damage to the islands of both Saipan and also Tinian. And I suspect that those islands will be without power for some time with roofs being ripped from the properties. Huge storm surge as well associated with it. Now it is weakening a little as it continues to track in a westerly direction. Now the equivalent of a category three, but nevertheless, it is going to continue to push in a westerly direction. It may well affect the north of the Philippines or through Taiwan. We'll need to keep a close eye on the track this storm is likely to take over the next few days. And of course, we'll keep you updated of its progress. Let's move now to North America, where we've got significant heavy rain that's just moving out of Texas. You can see that from the satellite picture. That is going to continue to track in a northeasterly direction. And this moisture bringing some very heavy rain as it moves its way up through Atlanta, Georgia, across Tennessee, into the Carolinas, and up through the eastern seaboard. Now, interestingly enough, there's been some pretty cold air across the northeast. And as that warmer air just bumps into the cold air, there could be some significant snow to come on the leading edge of it as well. At the same time, out to the west is a little bit quieter as we start the weekend, but more rain is coming in to British Columbia, perhaps. Now across to Turkey where it's been pretty stormy of late and pretty cold. You can see some significant snow as it moves through Georgia and Azerbaijan, but that system starts to ease away and it does look as though it will be a little less cold over the next few days. So certainly a quieter story to come. And if we take a look at the temperature profile, the blue tones, which is where we saw the snow, well, they will start to ease away and something a little bit more like the average really for the time of year is set to return. But we're heading for a cold snap into Europe over the next few days as northerly winds descend down across the UK into France, the Low Countries and Germany. And yes, this weather front that's the dividing line between warmer air down to the Mediterranean and colder air behind could spark off some significant snow across the Pyrenees and also into the Alps. But whatever happens, there'll be some very heavy rain as well across the French Riviera and many of the Alpine areas and into northern Italy. But that's the dividing line, somewhat colder conditions up into the north, the first cold snap of the season, warmer weather still down to the south. It looks pretty unsettled on Sunday across to Italy, but the threat of snow easing somewhat. That's it. Take care.